her at home. So when we do leave her at home, Cora could be sat at her desk watching the dog, making sure she's okay. I've got to ask, what's the most entertaining thing that you've spotted on that camera? Most entertaining thing. What do you think? Jumped out. Yeah, jumped out the lounge window, straight, oh, straight no. out the flat. Yeah. Joined here by the second place um, winner of the best in show. Right? Um, so would you mind just introducing yourself? Talking about you know, what you're sure. Doing I'm Troy. This is Skylar. Coral's over there. Skylar's mum. Um, yeah, we got her as a puppy during COVID. Um, we, I end up taking her to work a lot. She, I'm a tree surgeon. Um, she comes out, helps me drag some branches, picks up some logs for me, guards the tools, yeah, guards the trucks. Um, and we live down in Pevensey Bay by the beach. Um, and she's become quite the swimmer. I was going to say, a lot, a lot of dogs down there, so I live down there as well. You see the dogs all the time down there, run and look at yeah. the sea, and all of that. <laughs> but yeah, I can't stop her going in the sea. We'll walk down the beach and she'll just go straight down there, straight in the sea, and then she's staring at you like, come on, throw us a few things in there, will you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, she seems really calm, like, really calm, like, around a lot of people. Yeah. Um, was that, like, ever a fear, or did you know that she's going to be calm? Or... I think what it is, is she loves people. She almost loves people more than she loves dogs. So, I think what it is, is obviously when she comes to work with me as well obviously she, she meets loads of people she meets loads of dogs um, she's just got used to it I think now you know crowds of people it just doesn't really bother her now she's got used to being with so many people um, and we've got a lot of friends with dogs um, and she's always meeting new dogs always new people even when I go quoting for jobs she'll uh, meet, meet more dogs more dogs even more dogs and, yeah I think she's just got used to it I think it was a good thing that we uh, got to meet loads of dogs and loads of people. Yeah, because obviously if you got her during COVID, yeah. there would have been a time when there would have been no social interaction. Yeah, it was really hard to start with. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we, we it was mainly sort of maybe around the middle time. So she had a good like three to six months of just us. And then she got, she, she learned a lot. So she's really good with all of her commands. Um, she actually doesn't go on the lead that often. And I think that's where that was. So obviously, the first three to six months was focused on just the training. And then after, obviously, lockdown finished and everything was a bit more free, then it was kind of, oh, well, all the training is done. Let's just let you meet loads of people and loads of dogs. Um, and yeah, she's a really good dog. I wouldn't change it for the world. Well, I hope I can tell by the time I hope it goes to the win. It meant a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was really good. I really like it. Um, yeah. I don't think so, but it might be good to ask one of the guys in the high vis. One of the guys in the high vis jackets. <laughs> um, yeah, but we also are a little bit undecided whether we get another one. Because we feel like she needs a friend. Because, yeah, part of the reason she comes to work with me is because Coral works, I work, we're both full time. And we kind of just feel like it wasn't fair to get one if we don't have the choice of being able to take her to work on some days so that she's not sat at home on her own all day long. I think that's lovely though, that sort of um, sharedness. Yeah. Of it, like sharing the work and yeah, being yeah. able to, I know when, um, so I used to have a day, I know that whenever I go to, and that's not the same school and work, but I know whenever I go to school, I'd always get really sort of, like, I uh, miss her a lot. Mm. And I bet that's the same between owner and dog. Yeah. It's like, you would miss your dog a lot, and your dog would miss you a lot. So yeah. it's nice that you're able to share that. And it was like, we've got a little camera at home. So when we do leave her at home, Cora could be sat at her desk, watching the dog, making sure she's okay. I've got to ask, what's the most entertaining thing that you've spotted on that camera? Most entertaining thing. What do you think? Jumped out. Yeah, jumped out the lounge window. Straight, oh, straight no. out the flat. 
Yeah. Oh, thank you. I, I was, I did have the images of my own <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we're on the ground floor, so it was fine. Yeah. She loves jumping out of things. Like, she loves jump. She could jump in the car without opening the door. She's just straight through the window. Uh, but it's kind of, it's kind of like, if we tell her no, she just won't do it. But I think what happened is obviously the windows are open and a dog must have been walking past. And sometimes she likes to sit there and look at dogs walking past the window, but we left it open by mistake because we normally close it every time we go. But yeah, then she was just straight out the window. She was making friends, and then she came and sat by the front door, and just sat by the front door waiting to come in. Um, yeah, it's funny. Lovely. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. That's all right. Have a great time to chat. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hashtag second place is the new first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and technically it's reserved. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think since the Best in Show didn't come and do a podcast, we count yeah, no, as the no, Best in Show yeah, now, yeah, yeah. don't we? You're actually the Best in yeah, Show yeah. because you are in the show. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, yeah. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content just like this, then consider subscribing down below with notifications turned on. That would really help out a lot. I've been Dan Middleton with Postcard.